Hi everyone! Have you ever thought about living in Korea? Or how cool it would be to go to a Korean university and experience the Korean learn culture? In this video I will introduce you to Hanyan International Summer School and I will be answering the most asked questions about it and I hope I can inspire you a little bit. Also, if you're interested in vlogs about my life in Korea, feel free to check out my TikTok and my Instagram where I post tons of videos about Hanyan and my daily life. And before this video starts, I wanted to apologize real quick for the grammar mistakes I'm making in this video. My English is not that great. <laughs> Let's start! Hello everyone and welcome to this video. A few days back I made a lot of TikToks talking about the Hanyan International Summer School and I got a lot of questions so I thought about making a separate YouTube videos and answering the most asked questions. So here I am answering those questions. So if you're interested please watch. So let's start with the first question. Where and what is Hanyan? Hanyan is one of the best universities in South Korea, which is located in Seoul. This is the capital of South Korea, by the way. And you can find Hanyan on the right side above the river. It's perfectly located. It's close to Wang Simli and Kondi Iku, which are perfect places to hang out with your friends. So perfect, mashallah. This is Wang Shimli station, which is 10 minutes away from the campus. And if you go up this street I just showed you, um, you can find a lot of restaurants and drinking places. And here I just got something from the convenience store and I'm walking to the station up there. The next question is, who can apply for Hanyan International School? So if you are a university student and if you're interested in Korea, you can come. You need to be a university student to be able to apply to the Hanyan International Summer School. The next question is what courses do they offer? So if you decide to go to the Hanyan International Summer School, you can take up to three courses, nine credit hours, and you can transfer those credits to your university at home. So you're basically just taking an, an university course in South Korea. Nice. There are two courses, the hybrid course and the online course. The hybrid course is basically just you being in Korea, um having those classes in person on campus and you know the online classes are online in your own country in front of your laptop in order to take the hybrid course you have to do the quarantine which is the next question do i have to um do the quarantine yes you have to do the quarantine which is for 14 days and you can do this quarantine in a government facility or in quarantine slash so which offers um, Airbnb hotels where you can stay and which is way cheaper than the government facility so check that out. Last year I went to the quarantine facility and here I'm doing a little room tour. It was very expensive, they gave me nasty ass food so I don't really recommend to take the facility. Yeah I barely ate those two weeks, the food was really bad bro. And the Wi-Fi was also not the best. And one of my friends barely had Wi-Fi for weeks. Bro, my addicted ass would have died. The room was pretty big though and clean, so it was fine. Um, I just wanted to show you all the quarantine facility. Um, the word facility seems a little scary to me, so I just wanted to show you that it's basically just a hotel. And they will take you to a corona test as well, which you have to make. And I would rate it a 4 out of 10. To the next question, do they offer activities? And if yes, which ones? Yes, they offer a lot of activities. And I must say, I was surprised when I read about it. Um, for example, if you are taking part of the hybrid course, you have access to the activity to go to Lotte World. Everland or even having K-pop dance lessons at One Million Studio and let me just tell you One Million Studio is one of the most popular dance studios in South Korea and that's pretty awesome and yeah so if you take the hybrid course you can take up to three activities so to the next question are the classes in Korean no the classes are not in Korean and um, as long as you speak English everything will be fine the classes are all in English so don't worry just come you don't need to speak Korean <laughs> so nice to the next question do I need to know Korean or English to participate participate you need a knowledge in english of course you need to study in english you don't need korean at all but you need a little knowledge of english you need to be able to study in english and that's all you need you don't need to have the highest level in english 
they don't give a fuck they don't they also don't want a certificate of you of your english level as long as you can study in english everything will be fine to the most asked question how do i make friends in korea so if you're going to the hybrid classes you are um, having the classes on campus with a lot of other foreigners and you can easily make friends with them everyone goes to korea alone and we all need friends so don't worry about that you will make friends in class and also the activities make you all closer so don't worry to the next question do they offer a dorm yes actually you have three choices to choose from the first one is the cheapest option which is the dormitory on campus it's beautiful a lot of foreigners and the rooms are clean and mashallah. the second one is the partnership partnership accommodation yeah just an accommodation partnership thing with hanyan and the third choice would be your choice you can stay at your friend's home or you can rent an airbnb yourself it's all your choice so three choices you can choose from and yeah if you're looking for the cheapest option i would go with the dormitory it's definitely the cheapest one how do i apply to the hanyan international summer school you just need a few things first your passport information second the proof that you are enrolled in a university or that you graduated in university then the third will be your name your passport information your major your school that's it to the most asked question how much is the school so there are of course differences between the hybrid and the online course if your university has a partnership with the hanyan university the costs are 1 million nine hundred thousand one and if your university is not in a partnership with hanyan university then it will cost you three million one hundred thousand one for the online course it will be with the partnership university it will be 1,600,000 and for the non-partnership universities you will have to pay 2,200,000 and also if you decide to take the hybrid course you will have to apply for the d2 visa and yeah you have to go to your embassy at your home country and ask for the d2 visa and I would recommend you to call the embassy and ask a few questions about this visa and then you will be fine so that's it for this video and i hope you liked it if you liked it please subscribe and like or whatever and if you have any more questions please comment down below i will try to answer to everyone and yeah see you in the next video bye